Welcome to Adventures with Kendall. And today's adventure will take us to Toll House, California, for we're taking a tour of the Eastern Fresno County Historical Society's Museum. It's gonna be a fun time learning about the story of this mountain community. So let's get going on a wonderful adventure. Welcome to the East Fresno County Historical Society's Museum. Let's go check it out. This museum is dedicated to the history of the Eastern Fresno County area, which includes towns like Auberry, New Auberry, Toll House, Prather, Borough Valley, Shaver Lake, and Big Creek, and is a fun way to learn the story of this unique area. Come on, let's head inside. Our first part of our journey is inside this one room schoolhouse. This was built in the 1930s for the families of the Wishia employees, a tuberculosis sanitarium outside of New Auberry. Inside the Bud Olson School of History, you'll learn the story of the foothill communities that reside within East Fresno County. Whether it's the industrial side, ranging from ranching to logging, to later the railroad and the construction of the Big Creek Hydroelectric Project, to life in the community, whether it's a business, home, or school. The exhibits here include this classroom setting, complete with desks and chalkboard, these dresses, and everything else in between, including this bear. Yep, the indoor exhibits of this museum are quite informative, but this museum is more than just little artifacts in one building. Let's take a look at the other buildings at the Eastern Fresno County Museum. Outside, you can visit buildings to help better explain what life was like within the Eastern Fresno area, including this teepee that was made by the Modal Native Tribe. The first building we'll visit is the Burrow Valley Post Office. This post office was located on the Spence Family Ranch and included a small store. This building was in use at the corner of Burrow Valley Road and Burrow Valley North between 1880 and 1917. And it's a great example of a small general store and post office that you would have seen within the area. Next door is the blacksmith shop. Inside this shop, you'll see what it was like to be a metal worker within a small town within the area. This includes the many tools a blacksmith would have used, some of which he had to make himself. This also includes the furnace, which the blacksmith would use the heat of the metal before being pounded into shape. Right next door to the blacksmith shop is the saddle barn. Due to the area not being able to grow crops like down in the Central Valley, ranching became a big business within this mountainous area. Ranchers would take their cattle and sheep down Toll House Road. Here you can learn the ranching history that was going on in this area. And this includes a fine collection of saddles, a pack saddle, and even an inventory of brands used by these ranches. In fact, the sidewalk within the museum is decorated with these brands. There are also these saws from when there was lumber operations within the area. Did you know there were 27 lumber mills within this mountain community? Alongside ranching, logging in the area was a big business until the arrival of the railroad and the Bay Creek Hydroelectric Project. And speaking of logging, let's check out an example of a home built from the material from the set operations. This is a home made out of sugar pine. Inside this house, there is a living room, two bedrooms, and a kitchen slash washroom. These were the common accommodations that you would have seen at homes within the area around the turn of the century. Now here is the Foothills Filling Station. This building reflects the common filling station that you would have seen in the area. Whether it was the Auberry General Store or the famous Crestman's on Toll House Road on the way to Shaver Lake. Sadly, the latter was destroyed in the Creek Fire. Check out my video about the fire to learn more about the disaster. As you can see, 
There are neat gas pumps and signage that you would have seen on gas stations as you pass through the small communities. But it's not just the buildings that are exhibited out here. There are also outdoor exhibits for the San Joaquin and Eastern Railroad. And this is San Joaquin and Eastern Caboose number 51. One of the three left from the San Joaquin and Eastern Railroad. Caboose 51 was built by the San Joaquin and Eastern Railroad. These cabooses were at the end of freight trains departing from Fresno to El Prado near the town of Fryant to Aubury, then up to Big Creek to help construct the Big Creek Hydroelectric Project. We'll get back to those subjects in later videos. And that was our tour of the Eastern Fresno County Museum. I can't wait to go on more adventures, but until then, see you later folks, and may your gifts bless the world.